There's been said that everyone has a mission in life, something that makes us wake up in the morning and have a purpose. Whatever it is for the sake of art, science, or humanity, these objectives are valuable and gives us a strong sense of existence. Why do you build me up, build me up, all of your favors? Just to let me down, let me down, and make me around, and then worst of all, worst of all, you never fall, baby, when you see you will, but I love you still, I need you, I need you, more than anyone, darling, you know that I have from the start. Haley Boucher. I um, am the founder of Rocket Dog Rescue. I started this group in 2001, mm -hmm. but I've been volunteering for other groups for years, and I, I just, um, you know, I learned a lot about how to, what I felt about animal rescue, volunteering with other groups, and I, um, I just decided I, I wanted to start my own and, and do it a little bit differently. Can you tell me a little bit about herself? How do you about Paley or about, about me? Paley? Paley? I think we should talk to Paley about Paley. Well, I was born a ward of the court to a mother who was on drugs, like she was on drugs when I was in her womb, and she was deemed an unfit mother, so we were born wards of the court, me and my little brother both, and uh, we were basically raised in hippie communes and um, homeless camps and on the streets, you know, and uh, just homeless, you know, um, in and out of foster homes. Um, my mother would be hauled away to the mental hospital or to jail, and we would be put into foster homes and then we would go back with her when we get out. So it was a chaotic childhood, to say the least. So how come the idea of uh, the street adoption thing came out? Well, I find that uh, you could see a picture of a dog on the internet, but to really uh, just get to know them, I just think it's a really good way to, um, for all the dogs to get exposure. And, uh, to, you know, just people wandering by get to see dogs. And, you know, it's, a, it's a kind of a matter of fate sometimes. It's like a person may not be looking for a dog, but like their father might, or like a neighbor, or, or something, and they might wander by and see just the perfect dog. Oh, Rocket Dog Rescue was founded in 2001, and the end of 2001. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we became a nonprofit then. And um, it was an immediate success. People immediately were drawn to our group because I think that the passion I have for the for this work, I mean, I just truly believe that each animal that we save is an is a gift, you know, and it really feels like that. So who is this? This is Pedro. He's an 11 year old one eyed Chihuahua. He was just saved out of a shelter that was overcrowded in um, Martinez, I believe. And um, his chances of rescue were absolutely none. So we took him in. And he's got people that want him already. You know, it's been less than 24 hours. And the volunteer that went and picked him up has just fell in love with him, which is what, you know, the best we could ever hope for. So he's been free for 24 hours, and he has people already that want him. Do you remember the life in the, in the hippie communes? Yeah. They weren't as beautiful and peaceful. The hippie communes weren't as beautiful and peaceful as people imagine them being. It was um, pretty much out of control drug use and strange, weird, you know, freaked out situations, police beating people, um, just, you know, people disappearing for days at a time, like my mother would be gone, and just, you know, it was, it wasn't as uh, peaceful and commune and supportive as, as the visions of them might have been. Some of them might have been like that, but the places we stayed weren't. So, so how basically how it was, you just come here with the dogs and you tell people passing by if they want to adopt them. And right, we, people... we sit with the dogs and we let people know that the dogs are up for adoption and that they're spayed, vaccinated, microchipped, they have their heartworm <laughs> test, everything's done. And that, you know, um, if they're interested in meeting a specific dog, we sit and talk to them about that dog's personality. Uh -huh. um, and uh, and see what they actually want in a dog if it's a realistic expectation. You know what I mean? A lot of times people want a dog that's going to not have any accidents in the house no matter what. We can't guarantee that. You yeah. know, so we just have a screening process. You know, and um, and quite we, we do really well with our adoptions. I used to go to the dog shelter and, and see the dogs and and say hi to them all the time. And I met this one hound dog named Leadbelly one day, and he was really 
obnoxiously loud. He was howling at the top of his lungs, and the and the shelter was like everybody in the shelter was like holding their head and like couldn't because like, it was so loud they had to hold their ears and like leave the room because he was like oh at the top of his lungs right and I was like mesmerized by him I was just standing there looking at him he was looking right in my eyes and like bang at the top of his lungs like you need to get me out of here. This is Sophie and she's been with us for a month and we've been fostering her and then she just met Beverly and Mike today and she's going home with them and they have two other rescues one dog one cat. And so, and Sophie loves dogs, and we think that she loves cats too. We'll see. She definitely doesn't hate them, so <laughs> she'd be good. When I first found out about doing dog rescue, I was with my doctor at an art fair over in Oakland. She had asked me to um, do an art fair for her daughter's school, and um, I was talking to a woman there, and she ran another rescue in the East Bay, and um, I was so impressed by her, like feelings for animals, you know, and. We talked and I told her that, um, you know, I had a hound dog and she says, oh, we rescue hound dogs. And I was like, oh my God, I really want to do that. I want to do that. And it's like, I don't know what it meant. I just knew that I wanted to be a part of this. And that literally two days later, I had a dog in my house. They brought me over a dog immediately. I was like their foster home for years. I learned a lot about doing rescue, but um, the early days were really, it was like me and Lead Belly and the foster dog. And, and it, it was, it was really, um, it was really started to give me something that I felt like I did well. So why a rocket dog? You know, I my dog Lead Belly was my big beautiful hound dog, and I um, I really really wanted his name to be in the, the name of the group, but nothing flowed with Lead Belly and Lead Belly. I don't know. I kept trying to think of like all the things that it could stand for. You know, like I couldn't come up with anything. And finally, I just said I like Rocket Dog Rescue. I like the way it sounds. It implies like we're moving, and it sounds like we're going places, and it sounds like we're on the go, and you know. I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing in my life, but this felt like something right to me. It was the first thing that actually felt really right to me. Not so much like, oh, I should do this and it would make me important, but it just felt like the right path.